All right, stranger. <laughs> Nikki, what are you doing here? Applied to be a teaching assistant, so I'm being shown round. What happened to Lytham? I thought you were going to be the next Marco Pierre White. What? My aunt's B&B. &B. No, it was all right, just a bit boring, which was fine whilst I was studying, but now I want to be where the action is. So you chose Weatherfield? Well, my mum's not well, so it made sense to move back here. Oh, sorry to hear that. Hey, how's Maisie? Oh, really good, sir. I thought you moved away. No? Why would you think that? I saw someone Oh, else. sorry. Uh, I really need to get going. Uh, but I can meet you later on, if you like. Yeah, great. Uh, Rovers? Um, yeah, why not? Uh, about four? See you there. Okay, see ya. So, what made you want to be a TA? I always toyed with the idea of working with kids and I wanted a job with the same holidays as Maisie, so it made sense. Well, anything that you want to know for the interview? The bit I'm most nervous about is being observed taking a class. Don't be. But if you want to pick my brains, feel free. When is it? Next week. You should have called. I did. I left a voicemail. Anyway, I was told that you moved away. By who? Hey, Daisy. Come and meet Nikki. This is Daisy, my girlfriend. <laughs> Hiya. Girlfriend. Right. This, uh, Daisy, this is Nikki. She's my... Uh, well, my old friend. We've met. Have you? Yeah. This is who told me you moved away. Did you? Why would you lie about that? Well... Uh, you know, I, I don't think I actually said moved away. Actually, you did. Do you know what? No harm done. Why don't you go get a booth and I'll get us a drink? Sure. I'll have my usual. And a vodka tonic. Ta. So, quite a change, eh? Yeah, it's all thanks to you, actually. Me? Let's say I felt inspired. Really? Yeah. And the money you gave me bought me time so that I could go to college and actually train to be something. Someone. My aunt, who was brilliant, helped out with Maisie. I mean, obviously, she did my head in on occasions. <laughs> but anyway, here I am. Yeah. So, the TA job, eh? Oh, so nervous. Don't be. You'll have the meeting out of the palm of your hand. <laughs> Just don't let them smell the fear. <laughs> Thanks. No, I'm joking. You'd be brilliant. So, are they observing you in the class, yeah? Do you know which one you've got? Uh, year 10, set three, I think. Oh. oh, that's it. I'm going home. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. There's tea in the bar, you fancy brew. <laughs> There's this kid called... Jet, I remember when I was 14, I saw my boyfriend, Billy Harrison. His name was. And he was laughing and chatting outside the wimpy bar to Janice Bramley. I actually hit her with my rolled-up brolly. I'm not proud. Mind you, she did have a massive love bite, so... Hmm. So I suppose I should be grateful for small mercies, then? Yes. And, and they're not exes. Are they? He said they were old friends, but he would, wouldn't he? Well, if that was your boyfriend, I definitely would. Well, anyway, You'll just the way she couldn't wait to drop me in it, Cal. Drop you in it out? Told Daniel I said he'd moved away. And did you? Well, of course she did. It was off the top of my head. I was caught off guard, and just straight away I got this vibe from her. She's going to be trouble. Daniel's a decent bloke. It's not him I'm worried about. <laughs> <laughs> so hey don't forget if you want any more tips before your classroom observation just give me a bell actually do you want to send me a number ah oh, do eat it me did you actually yeah well i thought i found it but you obviously didn't get the voicemail i sent yesterday so hmm, that's the same number i dialed 